Across the country, they waited in line. Millions turned out to cast their vote. Despite the controversies around this election, Pakistanis want to ensure their voice is heard. Voting is a must. It's our right. Why would anyone not do it? As for the rest, may God bring us a truthful and honest leader. Also voting today, former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif tipped for a fourth term in office. Alongside him, his daughter, who hopes one day soon to follow in his footsteps. Bilawal Bhutto, heir to another political dynasty, is contesting too. But Pakistan's most popular leader, Imran Khan, isn't. He's behind bars on charges widely seen as politically motivated. His candidates have been forced to run as independents, the party targeted in an intense crackdown after falling out with the country's powerful military. Some of Khan's supporters are defiant, others fear too much has been stacked against them. They didn't let us campaign. Set our leader free. Then you'll see. They're so corrupt. These other politicians, we are hurting today. We are so anxious. We pray God has mercy on us. Videos on social media allegedly show a handful of incidents where ballot boxes were tampered with, whilst voting was delayed in some places. Khan's PTI party has already been the victim of what's known as pre-poll rigging. Today, mobile data was cut off, ostensibly due to the threat of militant violence, more likely to suppress support. Workers who have Wi-Fi that's still working or who have lists that they can check manually, but this still could have an impact on voter turnout. People don't know where to go to vote, and some who are going to the place they voted last time are finding out that they need to go somewhere else. A higher turnout is thought to favour Imran Khan. But Nawaz Sharif's Pakistan Muslim League does have genuine support too. He's best known for delivering major infrastructure projects, but was ousted from office ahead of the previous elections and corruption charges which have now been overturned. He's done a lot of work for society. He built a metro bus. He ensured people had jobs and improved our local areas. He took the country out of poverty and out of so many crises. He built motorways and our nuclear bomb. Many believe the real reason Sharif was jailed was that he fell out with the military. Now they want to bring him back. The army have long been the ones calling the shots in Pakistan's game of political musical chairs. No prime minister has ever served a full five-year term. When Imran Khan was voted into power, it was with their supporting hand. But his enduring popularity now represents one of the biggest challenges the military establishment has ever seen.